Wishing you a great great day ahead. Welcome back guys to our YouTube channel ABS Boys. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Aviation has always been a place full of innumerable explanations, mind wobbling facts, but at the same time also full of misconception doubts. Seeking all this, I decided to make a dedicated video upon RTR. You all would have heard this abbreviation in your first semesters. I am damn sure most of you are only limited just to its full form and a bit more. But since you are an aviator and me having a YouTube channel, I feel completely responsible and this all compels me to make you knowledgeable over this so that you don't keep silent next time anyone talks about RTR. RTR stands for Radio Telephony Restricted and since Aeronautical communication is dependent upon radio communication, so for smooth operation we require the operator to be utmost proficient. Equally important for B2 engineers and pilots, RTR encapsulates a special vocabulary based abbreviation language. Might end up thinking that why do we require a special language of abbreviations for communication in aviation. So my answer is very simple. The time for communication is limited and you clearly don't want to waste it between adjectives and verbs. So the communication is supposed to be short and very precise. Another common question is that why engineers require RTR license. So they require RTR license in order to be authorized to use different radio communication systems of the aircraft during different ground operations like towing, taxiing, pushback and engine start. So they need a valid RTR license issued by WPC, Wireless Planning and Coordination Wing. So after discussing some basic questions, now let's hop on to the main content of the video that is the eligibility, how to appear in examination, exam fees, centers, exam pattern, syllabus, license issue and its cost. Now let's talk about the eligibility criteria of the examination. The basic eligibility requirements is that you need to be at least 18 years of age at the time of application and the basic educational qualification isn't mentioned anywhere but since you are an engineering student so it is understood that you have completed your class 10th and 12th from maths and physics so these two documents are required as an age proof. So since I am not from B2 so I feel more comfortable to invite my friend Priya who is a valid RTR license holder. Thank you Trisha for collaborating me on one of the most important topic for air crews and engineering staffs. Myself Priya Gupta would like to guide you over RTR exam pattern. Since I have cleared this exam in Hyderabad session 2019, so I will be telling you about how to apply for the exam, its exam schedule and its fees, mode of examination, syllabus, so on. According to the schedule, the exam is conducted in five different RLO locations Kolkata, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Hyderabad. What all you have to do is nothing but first make Bharat Kosh payment from the website Bharat Kosh. That fees will be just nothing but 500, 500 slip you will be receiving. Then after which you can proceed for hard copy submission to the respective RLO. The hard copy to be sent is nothing but the COP form and some acknowledgement, fee receipt, birth certificate, passport, HSC passing certificate and two passport size photo enclosed in the envelope and sent in the time prescribed which is given in the schedule list. After successful submission of their hard copies to the respective RLO, the students will be allotted a roll number and exam date on which they will be appearing. 
Now let me talk about the exam pattern. So there are two parts, part 1 that is practical examination and part 2 is viva or interview kind of sort. Thank you very much Priya for guiding our viewers. So talking about the two individual parts of the examination part 1 and part 2, 100 marks each and you need to score a minimum of 50 marks in each part to pass out the complete examination. So now let's go in deep inside the examination pattern. Part 1 being a practical exam is an interrogative sort of examination where you will be given a headset and you have to answer the question according to what you listen. And part 2 being the Viva 1 where you have to answer the question based on different topics like ILS, TME, VOR, SSR and so on. So after your name appears in the official result of past candidates list, the main task comes here of license issue. In order to get your license, you have to pay a sum of 10,000 rupees for lifetime issue and 5,000 rupees for 20 years issue along with the proper documentation to be sent to the respective RLO from where you have cleared the examination. Hope you guys liked the video. If yes, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also if you want RTR based study material and if anyone watching from Mumbai wants to join RTR class then do message me on the given number. And also do let me know the topic of our next video. Thanks for watching.